Hello YouTube, it's me Pipecat. I know you haven't been hearing much from me lately, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd jump back into the fray with a sort of a review of uh, cob pipes once again. This time, rather than uh, reviewing any particular one, I'm just going to show you a sampling of my collection and uh, give a little blurb about each one, just to get back in the practice of reviewing smoking paraphernalia. Um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. These are one each of different models that I own. Some of them I have multiple of. But I just wanted to kind of go through each one and indicate uh, which are my favorite, which are not so much my favorite, and why. So uh, I've uh, started everywhere from the, you know, the tiny, you know, the, the, to the medium size and not so expensive, and a little more expensive, a little larger, then again, the specialty pipes. Well, anyway... Um, starting from the smallest first, this little thing here is all cob. There's no wood in the bottom. There's no filter. This will give you a quick little smoke if what you want is a quick little smoke. You can hide that in your pocket. It's probably under $3 if I remember correctly. Um, this thing is not finished really. I mean, it looks like it has some sort of varnish on the outside, but it's still kind of rough. And it, um, it'll heat up quickly. And uh, it'll only hold about maybe a third of a normal bowl. And even that, you won't get all the way through that without the bowl heating up. So this one, again, emergency measure only. Or it's just a toy. Keep it around just for laughs. Um, the next step up from it, a little bit more expensive, not too bad. This is a Washington Rob Roy. Um, I got the one with the uh, the little uh, tapered top there. I like this pipe. It's not a large pipe. I guess you might call this a medium-sized pipe. And I'm smoking it right now, in fact. I've got some My Mixture 965 inside there. Um, it smokes very well, but again, being a smaller pipe, uh, the bowl will heat up a bit, but not bad. Um, these, I can't remember if this one comes filtered. It may. In fact, I think uh, a few of them do. I don't use filters, so I remove them anyway. Whether or not it's filtered, I guess, it wasn't, wouldn't matter much to me, but uh, some of these can be, uh, can be used with filters. But anyway, the, uh, the Rob Roy, I like that one. That's the most recent acquisition I've gotten. Um, I bought that actually from Aristocob. Um, others I have purchased directly from Missouri Meerschaum. Missouri Meerschaum is the manufacturer of all of these, to be clear. But my favorite distributor, and probably most people's favorite distributor, is Aristocob.com. You get the best service there, and I've never had a quality discrepancy from Aristocob. So I probably got, I don't remember exactly which ones. I know I got that one from there. I probably got my Diplomat from there. Anyway, um, right, uh, back, to, uh, back to the reviews. Washington Rob Roy, good one. Um, medium smoke, not bad. You, you get pretty much a full bowl out of that. It doesn't heat up too badly, but it, it does a little bit. This is one of my always go-to models. This is the the Diplomat. This is an amber stem bent Diplomat. Um, this pipe is beautiful. This pipe, um, it, as you can see, this one is fern. It, it's um, what do you call it? varnished, but it's not uh, it's not painted black or anything like that. Um, heavy duty pipe. I guess you would consider this a large pipe. Um, this stays cool, and it smokes extremely well. Definitely one of my favorites. I've got three of these, and, uh, and, and, uh, and I, I alternate them. Um, a couple of the other ones. The other ones have uh, you know black stem or straight stem or whatever the case may be, just for a little bit of variation. But um, I, have, I have yet to burn through a cob pipe. I smoke every day, quite often, too often, and I think that... Um, you would think that you'd go through cob pipes quickly. If you're taking care of them, you will not go through them. I have never burnt through one. I've made mistakes with a couple. Um, I have. Uh, I see. What I do with mine is I always, I always get in there and chisel out the end of the, uh, the shank inside there. I always chisel it out to get the inside bowl just cylindrical with no, no, uh, no shank protruding into the bowl. Because I also use uh, pipe mud. Um, I, there is a product that you can get through Aristocob. It is called Miracle Mud. It is not advertised as a pipe or smoking product. I, however, have adapted it for use on my own and put it in pipes. 
I find that it works, but if you buy it from Scott at Aristocob, it is not a smoking implement. It's just a handy little tool, a material that I use in this way. In fact, um, which ones? This one, this one, oh, no, not these. Only these two so far have I used that kind of uh, cement in, and it's wonderful. It's hard to work with putting it in, but once you get it in and get it shaped, it is just phenomenal. These other ones, I have chiseled out and mudded using ash and water. Cigar ash or uh, thin pipe ash and water. And that works pretty well. It will wear out in time. I do not think that, that these cemented ones will wear out at all. I have not seen any wear on them. But the, the ash ones, they will eventually wear out. You'll have to remud them. Anyway, my next go-to, the, the taller brother of the diplomat, diplomat, is this one here. This is the Country Gentleman. I did acquire this one from Aristocop. Um, this is a phenomenal pipe. This pipe, it holds a lot of tobacco. That's a substantial bowl, and um, it does smoke really, really well. These two, the Country Gent and the Diplomat, are about as heavy a pipe as you could hold in your teeth comfortably. This one, of course, being smaller, is easy to hold. This one, I don't even count. That, that one, you, you forget you have in your mouth. But these three right here, f still pretty easy to hold in your mouth. This one, extremely easy. These two, pretty easy. Then you move over to these. These are specialty pipes from Missouri Meerschaum, okay? This, as many of you might recognize, is the Dagner Poker Cob. This pipe is lovely. This thing is heavy duty, man. It is, you can tell just the way it's been worked. A lot of care goes into this. It stands up on its own so easily. I mean, these all kind of do. But this one just absolutely, it's even hard to knock that over if you want it to. Um, you can hold this in your mouth, but it is heavier than these others. Um, when you clench this in your mouth, remember the, the, the burn is smoke, the smoky burn is closer to your face. So, uh, you know, if you don't mind the smoke coming up right in front of your eyes, this is great, especially if you're working with your hands. It keeps it more out of the way. So this is actually another great one for clenching. But I tend to put my pipes down anyway. Um, these, these three here I will hold in my mouth half the time and, and put down the other half the time. This one mostly I will put down, but it's easy to hold. And then you get to the sort of crazy, you know, flight of fancy. This is the... Uh, the Cobbit Elf Pipe. Um, I can't remember whether I got this from Scott at Aristocob or if I got it directly from Missouri Meerschaum. I probably got it from Missouri. I, I, I could look it up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, again, it's a well-made pipe. However, because somebody was trying to do something to meet sort of a character, a characterization, this stem, um, especially if you look inside here, it, uh, it looks like it's been hand machined because I don't think they're cranking out a million of these. They probably have to machine each one down so it fits in the, in the shank. Um, uh, forgive my lack of terminology. It's been a while since I reviewed anything. This pipe smokes quite well. However, this is a large bowl. This is a heavy bowl. And that's a long stem. I can't clench this in my teeth. If I try to, I'm clamping my jaw down for deal life, and that's just going to chew up that stem. So this one, I also tend to put down. Uh, cob pipes in general have been among my favorite pipes since I discovered them, and uh, I reach for them first almost always. Um, I highly recommend that you keep cob pipes if you don't already. Um, for those of you who have not tried them, fearing that you will burn through them quickly, that is a fallacy. You will never burn through. You'd have to smoke these things constantly without cleaning them or letting them cool off before one of them, I think, would burn through or crack or anything like that. I know that it happens. I've seen it happen, but not to my pipes. When I finish smoking a pipe, I'll use this one because I currently have some backy in there. Uh, every time I finish smoking a pipe, especially a cob, all my pipes, but especially a cob, I will clean that out. I will scrape that out very well, you know, gently. I make sure I don't take any material off the bowl, which, by the way, is hard to do. This stuff is almost like ceramic. And um, keeping that clean and 
pipe cleaner into the into the stem there all the way down go through it a little bit really get the moisture out of there and then I'll even I'll even uh, roll up a, a, a napkin or a paper towel put it in there just roll it around a little bit pull it out tap it out again get any residual ash and these things I, I, I imagine are going to last me almost forever so that's my latest review it's just basically a recap the fun and the uh, practicality of cob pipes they come absolutely recommended by Pipecat. I'll be posting some more material shortly, but for now I just wanted to say hello again to say that uh, if you saw my last post, I've been having some health issues. I'm feeling a little bit better now, a little more upbeat. I've changed my meds. Woohoo! You know, um, all of it's still street legal. But um, today this is my subject. Next time around will be something different. Stay tuned for more from the Pipe Cat, and I'm wishing everybody well. Smoking is a hobby, not a habit. Peace out, baby.